Today, I'm going to tell you about the enzyme phosphofructokinase 1. It's an allosterically regulated enzyme that catalyzes the reaction of fructose 6-phosphate to fructose 1,6-bisphosphate using ATP hydrolysis. This is the main regulatory step of glycolysis. So I've created this model of phosphofructokinase. This is a very simplistic representation. The real phosphofructokinase is about 300 amino acids long, so its structure is really complicated. But for now, we're just looking at allosteric regulation. So here's the active site, and here are the allosteric sites. Now let's get to meet the substrates. First, we have fructose 6-phosphate. Fructose is a sugar, and it's a five-membered ring. Then we have a phosphate group attached at the sixth carbon. In this reaction, we want to add a phosphate group to the first carbon. So we're going to use ATP. This is ATP. You can see the nitrogenous base, adenine, which is attached to the five-membered ring ribose, which is attached to our three phosphate molecules. So phosphofructokinase catalyzes this reaction. And now let's have a look at the products. We have fructose 1,6-bisphosphate, which is a nice symmetric molecule. This is important because we're going to split it in half later in glycolysis. And then we have ADP, which is just ATP minus one of the phosphate groups. So we have our reaction going along. How do we regulate it? Well, if the cell is low on energy, we're going to have a high concentration of AMP. AMP will bind to an allosteric site on phosphofructokinase and cause a conformational change that will increase the enzyme's affinity for the substrates. So the activity of phosphofructokinase increases. But what if the cell has plenty of energy? What if concentrations of ATP are high? Well, ATP will bind to another allosteric site on phosphofructokinase and cause a conformational change that decreases the enzyme's affinity for the substrates. The enzyme's active site has less complementarity with the substrate, so it's less likely to hit the right spot, it's more likely to just bounce off. And overall, the conversion happens more slowly. Now, there's one more reason why this is such an important step in glycolysis. The product of this step, fructose 1,6-bisphosphate, is an allosteric effector molecule for pyruvate kinase. Now, pyruvate kinase catalyzes the last step of glycolysis. So when fructose 1,6-bisphosphate binds, it increases pyruvate kinase's activity, and the second half of glycolysis speeds up. 